हॅलो फ्रेंड्स दस इज महेश शिवलेकर अँड यू आर वॉचिंग नेक्स्ट जॅन मॅथ इन दिस व्हिडिओ वॅक टू डिस्कस द जॉमेट्रिकल मिनिंग ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आय any complex number z can be expressed as a a plus ib with the property i square equal to minus 1 where a is called real part of the complex number and b is called imaginary part of complex number now we plot that number on a complex plane where horizontal x axis is called real axis and vertical y axis is called imaginary axis then that number is shown as a radius vector where real part lies on x axis and imaginary part b lies on a y axis now to understand geometrical meaning of complex number i we consider complex number z is equal to 1 we plot that number on a complex plane which is lies on x axis now we multiply z is equal to 1 by i then we have a i now we plot which is lies on positive y axis now we multiply z is equal to i by i then we have a i square and i square equal to minus 1 now we plot z is equal to minus 1 on the complex plane which is lies on negative x axis we multiply z is equal to minus 1 by i then we have minus i and minus i plot on a complex plane then it lies on a negative y axis further we multiply z is equal to minus i by i then we have a minus i square and i square equal to minus 1 so minus 1 into minus 1 equal to plus 1 and if we plot on a complex plane then we come back to the original point z is equal to 1 then what is happening when we multiply any number by i so look at here when we multiply z is equal to 1 by i then the resultant vector z is equal to i it lies on a y axis now we multiply z is equal to i by i then the resultant vector z is equal to minus 1 lies on a negative x axis now z is equal to minus 1 multiply by i then the resultant vector lies on a negative y axis that means when we multiply any number by i then that number is rotated by 90 degree in the anti clockwise direction now to understand this concept we will see one more example now consider the complex number z is equal to 1 plus i now plot on the complex plane which is lies in a first quadrant now we multiply z is equal to 1 plus i by i then we have a minus 1 plus i now minus 1 plus i is lies on a second quadrant further we multiply minus 1 plus i by i then we have a minus i plus i square i square equal to minus 1 so we have minus 1 minus i now minus 1 minus i plot on the complex plane which is lies on a third quadrant one more time we multiply minus 1 minus i by i then we have minus i minus i square i square equal to minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 so 1 minus i and 1 minus i is lies in a fourth quadrant now we multiply 1 minus i by i then we have a i minus i square i square equal to minus 1 so minus minus plus 1 and we have 1 plus i and we come back to the original vector z is equal to 1 plus i here we can easily observe that when we multiply z is equal to 1 plus i by i then the number is rotated by 90 degree and similarly when we multiply each and every time number by i then that number is rotated by 90 degree in the anti clockwise direction that means the geometrical meaning of complex number i is if any number is multiplied by i then that number is rotated by 90 degree in the anti clockwise direction on the complex plane thanks for watching
for more such video please like share subscribe and press the bell icon of next gen mass